Right, guys, today we're changing out the starter on this Cub Cadet. Bought this Cub Cadet two years ago. We have used it and abused it, and it's still going pretty strong for as much as uh, we put it through. But anyway, we changed the starter out. The starter went out on it. So I bought a replacement. It's just two bolts, bolt, bolt. Slide it up into the shaft there and uh, connect your power back. It's right there. It's a pretty simple process. All right, got our uh, bolts lined back up there. We're going to tighten them down now. And uh, it's 10 millimeter and then 11 millimeter for your uh, power supply. So one thing I did notice I did is I put this over here. It's supposed to be over here. This is your gas fuel line coming out of your tank, going into your engine. So uh, I'm gonna put this back over here where it's not constricted. All right, so there's that fuel line. So we'll pull that back around here. Got that connected back in there. All this does is just a little bracket that sits on the end of the nut here to uh, the bolt to keep the fuel line out of tingling up into something. Just hand tighten it, get your ratchet, tighten it down good, and uh, plug your power back up, and you're good to go. All right, now we got that back on the way we like it. Gonna take this nut here off you can use the old one that came here's the old one that came with the uh, other one the old one but no big deal slap your power back on tighten that nut around it and you're ready to go so just remember this is a 10 millimeter and this uh, your power supply is an 11 millimeter and just tighten it down good all right that's tightened down good uh, should be good to go Let's see if she fires up. Yeah. 